and she's an etiquette yes. coach and mm -hmm. we're talking about office etiquette you're welcome you're thank welcome. you very much thank you so much for inviting me <laughs> okay good. so let's talk about having a good office etiquette why yes. is it so important oh wow well, you know image is everything all right? okay. And especially when you're talking about the office, your reputation really matters. Competition is really real out there. And with customers, you do one little thing that is wrong, they will jump ship with no apology. Right. So why do they want to work, uh, work with you, buy things from you, you know, engage in your services? Because they like something about what you're offering them. And a lot of it does depend on how you portray yourself. Let's remember one thing. The employees of any organization are the heart of that organization. Mm -hmm. So it's very important how the employees actually behave. Interestingly, coming here, everywhere I've gone, everyone keeps greeting me. It's like it's, like it's a, a plague. But that's excellent because it means that there's a culture here mm -hmm. that says when you see someone new, you must greet. say hello, you must greet. And I must commend you for that because that's Thank very you. impressive. Thank First you. impressions go a long yes. way. And that's why we insist that with any organization, try to make sure you invest in, you know, educating your staff about the real protocol of running the office because you are the face of that organization. And if one staff does anything wrong, you can pull down a business overnight. So we say it's very important. And there's so many things that actually attribute to office etiquette. Mm -hmm. okay. So if I'm going to start off, for example, as simple as the telephone in an office environment. Now, most offices are even open open plan, meaning that there are many people in one office okay, setting. Yeah. So you have to be mindful of how you come across to your colleagues. It's really about being kind, considerate, and you know, aware of your behavior and your actions yeah. among your colleagues to make it cordial. At the end of the day, work, we're in business because we want to improve the bottom line, right? Yes. And we need to do it as a team in order to achieve that objective. So it means we need to work one-on-one. -on -one. And remember, in an office setting, we spend most of our hours with our colleagues yes. and very few hours with our family. Mm -hmm. So what goes on in the office environment is very important. So the telephone, for example, what are you doing with your telephone? Are you somebody that speaks so loud on your telephone to the point that everybody can hear what you're saying? And even down to confidential information, when you're outside in a public place and you're talking about your office, how confidential are you with your phone? Mm -hmm. So come back to the office now. There's some people that have a very loud, and you know, uncomfortable ringtone, yeah. and they're, they're not even willing to lower it. So your ringtone matters a lot, you know, in an office environment. How frequently does your phone ring? Are you busy on the phone all day long, mm -hmm. or are you busy, you know, doing your work? Some people receive phone calls all the time, and they don't put their phones on silent, and even when they do put their phones on silent or quiet, the alert goes off so many times, you even see, can you just tone down that phone a little bit? Yeah, yeah. So the tone of your ringtone is important. Your voice on the phone is also important because other people are serious, they're working. And your phone can be a nuisance, you know? Yeah. And again, to the way you have conversations on your phone okay. is very important. How you conduct yourself on the phone in an office environment mm. where other people are working. Let's even talk about, you know, conversations. Okay. Are you busy rumor mongering? disturbing other people. Guess what? Did you hear this? Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. I mean, there is time for that. Maybe your lunch break, you can talk about something. Mm -hmm. But then again, if you're a professional, you be very mindful of what you say in the office environment. The saying that they say, the, the walls have ears yes. is very true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to say that. <laughs> the, the walls do have ears. And you're, you have to be mindful of what you say in an office environment. Even when you go outside your office and you are representing your organization, <laughs> either in a networking environment or so. Be mindful of how you talk and what you say. So conversations, how loud is your voice? How frequent is your voice? Some people have a low voice, a high voice, a squeaky voice. But be careful of how you conduct yourself with conversations. If you're talking professionally, talk professionally in the environment. Okay. We talk about the desk as well in the office environment. Okay. People, you know, your desk... How clean your desk is speaks to the personality and the character of that person. Mm. Is there a war going war zone? Is your is your desk a war zone, or is it neat and tidy? It speaks to your own cleanliness okay. outside the office. The way we see your desk is an image of you. Yeah. So is it neat or is it untidy? Mm -hmm. And then there's desktop dining. Mm. So do you eat on your desk? 
And when you bring out the food, is it the kind that has so much aroma that the entire office smells? Mm -hmm. It's better for you. I always preach, go and spend 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes away from your desk to eat. Refresh on your brain, all right? Mm -hmm. Go to the dining area or the kitchen, wherever it is that they have for you to eat, if they have. But, you know, if you're forced to eat at your desk, yes. be mindful of how you eat at your desk. One, the aroma of the food. But okay. two, the fact that you have documents that need wow. protection, mm -hmm. a computer that needs protection. It's lovely to have tea and coffee at your desk. But once you finish with the cup, take it away from okay. there. And be mindful not to leave liquid inside the cup that could accidentally spill over, spell yeah. office property documents. and documents at the same time. Okay. You know, it comes to emails as well. Okay. Are you busy attending to your personal emails or are you attending to your official, official emails. emails. And then again, when you're sending your emails, I've had this time and time again in my training, some people forget who is on copy, okay, mm -hmm. and they don't read over their emails, official emails, they're busy short cutting, you know, their, um, what, what do we say, short notes on yeah, your phone, okay. or slangs on your phone, LOL, in, mm -hmm. an, in an official email, you know, and then they press send. You know, and I've I'm, seen I'm, people blind copy their mm -hmm. MDs, forgetting that the MD is on copy, and yet they're responding to emails as if they're responding to a text message. Mm -hmm. But you have to remember, an official communication is an official communication. communication. You know, Watch your language. We will even get to the email part. I wanted to touch on you know, talking about the dining when you're in you know, your wow. office space. And in a situation whereby you have, you're sharing a table with your colleagues, like yeah. it's not like he's separated, like you have your space, right. he has a space, she has a space. It's just a table and then you just have to you know, stay at a, a particular portion. party yeah. portion. How can you handle it? Because you can't determine, determine how someone else is going to treat their space. Yes. And sometimes it may spill into your own space. So how can you handle right. such situations? As an organization, have a corporate culture. Okay. And be very specific as to how you want the office to look like. If you walk around as one of the decision makers in the organization, and you see some people's desks are very dirty and untidy or quite unkept or loaded with lots of files, speak to that and say, look, this doesn't look presentable. If a customer comes in, it doesn't look nice for our image. Speak to the rules and regulations of how you want it to look as an organization. Because mm -hmm. if you leave it to employees, they'll do what they want to do and be as comfortable as they want to in spite of whether it looks rough or not. Okay. But you know, the company should have a corporate culture that they want all employees to follow. And then there has to be somebody who actually monitors and goes out and says, you know, it comes down to dress code as well. Maybe there's a dress code in your organization. You're still gonna get the one or two people that will flout it. There has to be a monitoring process that says, this is not allowed in this organization. Mm -hmm. So that the people are on top of it. And maybe sometimes there should be repercussions if somebody is stepping out of theirs. So you're a lawyer. You can't be wearing um, you know, yellow and pink wig and things yes. like that. It doesn't speak well to the profession. It doesn't speak well to the organization that you work for. And then you, know, you come down, spell it out exactly how you want it. I've seen time and time again with written policies, you know, people still flap, people still go with red, yellow, mm -hmm. pink, nail varnish, you know, and sometimes there are, it's a casual Friday, for yeah, instance, yes. we have to be mindful on casual Friday. People carry that word casual to be very, very casual. Mm -hmm. And sometimes some things that you have worn to a wedding with bling bling on it, you think wait it's appropriate to wear to a wedding. <laughs> you have to say, mm, this is a little bit uh, over the top, you yeah, know, okay. and say, no, for casual Fridays, we, this is what we accept for casual Fridays, so that people don't just take it out of mm -hmm. context. Okay. You know, in an office environment, try to spell out some of the things that you accept and that you don't expect. You know, I mean, or s just save those things that you want and those things that you don't want. And a lot of things with office etiquette is about courtesy and kindness. So okay. things like you're going out um, of the room and somebody is behind you, and sometimes you can sense when someone's behind you, it's courtesy to hold the door for that next person. Mm -hmm. But some people will slam the door in your face and regardless of whether you're behind them and or not. Holding the door is it in regardless regardless of if you're a male or a female? female. Because I know we always yes. say as a male, male you should open the door. Yeah, open you the know, door. that's a beautiful question. But you know, the truth of the matter is in any office environment, it is gender neutral. Mm -hmm. Whether you're a male or a female, we are together. We are a team. In a social environment, yes, we take more cognizance about the woman and all of that. But you know, a man who is really cultured actually would 
do uh, you know uh, un under normal circumstances he will hold the door regardless of whether you're a woman or not mm -hmm. you know some men actually are cultured or their upbringing actually tells them that this is polite okay. you know some of it is a little bit of common sense you know mm -hmm. hold the door on you know just just politely hold the door for someone you know and even at that you know you're walking into an elevator you know um how do you behave in the elevator as well? You may hold the door for some people. So you can see somebody that's about rushing, rushing in, you know. Out. You can hold the door nicely for the person. A person will come in and say thank, thank you. you. Again, to someone holds the door for you, don't ignore that person. Common thank yous, courtesies. Mm -hmm. You know, um, with common courtesies, they are so cheap yet it's so expensive. Because mm -hmm. yes. some people don't feel that a thank you is needed or it doesn't come naturally to them. Even okay. when they say, oh, you look really nice today. It's a thank you that you're requiring, you know. Yes. Not like, we don't need anything more than that. But some people say, hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, you know. But there are little common courtesies, you know, politeness. Let's even talk about the kitchen of an office or the office kitchen. Okay, please, before we you go know. into that. Yeah, <laughs> There's I, I so to, much to talk yeah, about. Yeah, there is. But I want to, you know, talking about um, office etiquette, right. what exactly is the, uh, the most important ones that we can say is general to every office you find yourself. I know there are different types of offices. We have the office uh, in, of the media personality where mm -hmm. of the creative department where we know that um, sometimes if people play loud music to help them with their creativity you know or the office <laughs> of the editors whatever will help them to you know be creative some of them even want to put off the lights and they want to you know just be in a cozy and cool because environment. Regardless doctors, of other we have um, <laughs> engineers all of them like that. So how can we, what uh, office etiquette general. is ideal? Yes, that is general. It's the communal areas. Okay. The communal areas, like the reception, the hallway, the fact that everybody is using this particular um, photocopying machine, you know, things that everybody is entitled to use. Okay. Those are the areas where you can... F be at loggerheads with somebody, you know, oh, I'm using it, oh, I put that paper inside. No, no, don't use it yet, I haven't finished. That can create arguments. Even the hallway, let's not even talk about the washrooms, all right? The washrooms as well, leave it clean and tidy for someone else to be able to use it. Yes. I was coming to the communal area of the kitchen as well. Some people take other people's food. Yes. It's unfortunate, you know? Or some people, they've had coffee or they've had tea and they dump their dirty plate in the sink. And, you know, those are communal areas like Come on, we're all using this. Or somebody will use the last tea bag and leave the empty box there and not request for a new one to be brought out of the store, something like that. You know, or somebody will use the, the napkin and leave it very dirty for other people to use. Communal areas, common things that are office property that everyone is entitled to use. Mm -hmm. You have to have some courtesy and kindness and be self-aware, mm -hmm. you know, that other people are going to use this thing as well. So what would I like? What would I not like? like for other people to do to me or you know and that's what what counts mm -hmm. it's very important that we are self-aware of how we behave etiquette is abc appearance behavior communication mm -hmm. appearance behavior, behavior communication. communication and and everything that goes with it so your okay. appearance when we go out together to represent our organization we want to make sure that we look our image speaks to who we are representing, the organization mm -hmm. we represent. So when you walk in and you're talking about your business, people say, hmm, they are impress impressed because first impression always goes a long yes. way. And a picture paints a thousand words. Mm -hmm. Behavior as well. Don't walk into a client's office mm -hmm. chewing gum. And if you're going to be late, tell them that you are running yes. late. Yes. Because being late also speaks to the impression of that organization. Yes. That uh, we're late and we're strolling late. We don't even have an apology. Okay. You All right. know? <laughs> you know that topic. We have Janet Adetsu still talking about office etiquette. etiquette. But yes. then we need to understand what the relationship between an employer and employee should be when it has to do with etiquette. Yeah. But that would be immediately after this break. Make sure you stay tuned and don't go anywhere because tea or coffee, we'll be right back. You can join us tomorrow for another exciting episode of Tea or Coffee.